Hey, so should you chase after a crush for the purpose of dating them? You have someone, you like them, they're cute, attractive, whatever you like about them. Should I, you know, go after this person and push myself really hard to try to get them to date me? Or even more than that, to make a commitment to me? So if you would say, of course, the answer is no, which we'd assume everyone would say, because that would put you in the right category as most rappers and the Huffington Post, um, I would beg to differ with that. Warren Buffett says famously that if you want to be successful, look at what everyone else is doing and do the opposite, right? So there's a general consensus in the world that we live in today, which is hyper extended and, and, and made much worse by social media, which I was just told over Shabbat that it's actually not such a bad thing, that, that just Tinder, J-Swipe, whatever it is, that there is an overabundance of people that you could date and great people out there. And if you ask anyone that's been in the dating market for any period of time, which is a lot of people, you know, who's single, how many great guys and girls can you find? Right, it's a, it's a really not fun question. It's a terrible situation. I hate, unfortunately, I'm, I'm around it so much because I'm, I'm involved, you know, so a little bit talking to people. And it's really hard, they can't find great people. Of all the people out there, how many of them are uh, single, first of all, dateable, you know, fun, they might be intelligent, but they're unattractive, they might be unattractive, but they are, I mean, they are might attractive, but they're whatever it might be. It's very hard to find something that you really like, right? So I think the post suggests the following answer. She, uh, he, she, whoever the author was of this article I was reading, said, says that you should wait for love to find you. Now, I think that's a great solution for finding very mediocre love, uh, which is not something that anybody else wants. Because in life, the things that you get are the things that you put time and effort and thought into it. So if you, you want to have a meaningful relationship, you have to pursue it. Now, it might mean figuring out or working on yourself or preparing like what you want or coming up with a game plan before you actually pursue the person. That would actually be a very intelligent thing to do. You know, what do I want? How do I become the person to attract the the the, the mate that I'm looking for. But then if you find that person, you should do whatever you can to try to get that date because it's very hard to find good people. Now, again, I, I, I'm, I'm clarifying what I'm saying. If you are not interested in a long-term relationship, then, yeah, don't, don't pursue it. Like, why would you do it? Right? I, I know why you do it, but let's, you know, it's a family show. Um, but the general principle is run after the things that are valuable to you. So if you find someone that you feel is going to be a good addition to your life, run after them and really try to impress them. Again, I'd like to say that it's important to chase after a crush. And I wish everyone the absolute uh, best of luck to finding your uh, intended one. Thanks.